back to my channel. Today's video is my project pan update. I don't remember the last time I did an update. I want to say March, but I'm probably wrong. Actually, no, I probably did it in February. So I have some new progress that I'd like to show you guys. If you would like to see what makeup I am panning and would like to see my progress, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I know it's like a common thing for me to bring in new items every single update. I get bored real easily with my products, which I don't know why. I don't know, I just get bored randomly, so I end up bringing things in. So, so the first thing is my Oma Beauty Concealer. I've only used it once in April, and I really can't give you an update on it, honestly. So, there's that. <laughs> I haven't been wearing like heavy makeup for a while. This is a really good concealer. I just honestly, I need to start using this like every day because I'm tired of having a concealer. A concealer sit in my drawer knowing that I barely use it. So I definitely need to start that. <laughs> Next is my Super Goop Glow Screen Sunscreen. And there's really no way to mark this. I've used it, I want to say, four times this month already, which is really good for me. My problem is that I don't wear makeup every single day, but now that it's getting really sunny, especially this weekend, I'm going to wear this. My last few videos I've been wearing it, and I've been loving it so much. So I definitely am going to keep wearing this so I can finish this because it's going on a year of having it, and, and I just got to use it up because I have... My other one that I really like. Okay, next is a blush. My favorite are the e.l.f. blush duos still. I am still obsessed with them. You guys know I rip about them literally in every single makeup video and I can't stop. I can't stop. So I do have some progress that I would like to show you. This is the e.l.f. Spiced Apple Blush. This is what she looks like right now. I am loving this blush all over again. Every time I do a quick makeup look, if I'm going to hang out with my friends to go see a movie, girls weekend, something like that, I use this blush and it's just so quick and easy. It's so nice and I really love it. It fits my skin tone really well and I just, these peachy pink are great for my skin. So that is the update. I'm glad I have new pan on this edge. And I cannot wait to see this just be done because that would just be awesome to pan a whole blush. Next one is Leche. So I've been also been using this one. I have both of them on today and I've been stacking them. Um, and they're really great. I don't know if you can tell, but oh yes, you can. I do have a dent. So I'm sorry about that, you guys, but um, here we go. There is a dent, as you can see. Oh, yes. That's what. So we're getting somewhere, you guys. I've really been digging into this because I use it to do this um, area to make it look like I'm sunburnt. And I'm loving it. I'm just loving my rosy cheeks again. Even though my cheeks are already rosy, I just love the effect that these two have together. Peachy and pinky blush together. They're perfect. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's see, I'm gonna, you guys, I'm gonna count this as a blush. This is my Dallas blush. I'm bringing it back out because I still love my brown nude blushes for days that I don't want a pop of color. I just put it on, even though you can't really see it. This is the Dallas blush. We're getting rid of the name. The name looks like it's almost completely off. So that is a good sign. I just want to see how much I can get use out of in the next month. This is really great and I'm glad I only got a mini because I've had I probably had this for about two years now and I'm still nowhere making any progress. So probably my favorite part of the video is my bronzers and you guys know I've been using this Becca bronzer in Capri Coast and, and it's a mini. This is what she looks like now. I do think that she will get finished this year. Oh, she definitely will. She definitely will get finished this year. Like, look how much progress I have. I say about three more months and she's going to be done. I am using it as an eyeshadow. That's what I've been using it mostly. Um, just because I have a ton of bronzers that I want to start incorporating. 
Um, so this has been mainly a eyeshadow because it is shimmery, but there's not too much shimmer, so it's just enough to look good for me, and I really like it. So that is the update for this Becca bronzer. Next is my e.l.f. Primer Infused Bronzer. This is in Forever Sunkissed. I I really love this. I'm never getting rid of this. I got rid of it one time, I think like a year ago or two years ago. And I've been missing it ever since, so I just bought another one. But never getting rid of this e.l.f. bronzer, you guys. Just I just can't. I just, I missed it so much. So, here is the progress. You can barely see any progress. I'm wearing it right here. It is a little orange on me. Well, why does this side look worse? I don't know. Whatever. Who cares? This is going to get used up this summer. I'm going to hit pan on this this summer. I am going to hit pan on this this summer. This is my main goal now for bronzer. I remember wearing this in 2019 and I was just so tan and this made me look like a golden goddess and I loved it so much. So I want to bring that back. Your girl is a little pale right now. So this summer is all about getting tan and looking real good and feeling good. So this is going to be... Why did I just talk so much about this? I don't know. I'm in a rambly mood right now. So sorry. I'm going to use this up. This is my Becca highlighter and champagne pop. I don't know how much progress it's showing, but this is what it looks like right now. I'm wearing it obviously today. Can you see my highlight on the hard points? I really want to get this corner shiveled down as much as I can in May. I think I can get it actually gone in May. That would be nice. And then I would like to work on the middle part. So that is my goal. I need this to be done this year, you guys. I want to give this like four months and then uh, it will be done. I'm ready to move on to a new highlighter. I have so many that I want to start trying, so I really need to move on. I kind of had bad news for you guys. <laughs> bad news for me, mostly. I lost my other Tower 28 lip jelly in Cashew, and I'm really mad about it because it is my favorite lip gloss. So I do need to pick up a new one, but... I still have this one in oat milk and then I have my new one in almond. Once I finish this up, I guess I'll just buy the cashew. So it, I'm like really battling myself to not buy a new one. Um, yeah, I just, oh my gosh, like look how amazing this is. It's so great. Anyways, this is where we're at. We're still at this bottom mark because I haven't used much of it. So this is going to be my main goal this month for May is to use it up so yeah okay guys that is all for this update i hope you guys enjoyed this project pan i know it was all over the place but i'm just feeling really good today like i have not felt this good in so long and maybe it's because i just turned my camera on or that it's just tourist season anyways i will update you guys in may to show you what i have but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you guys are starting any, if you guys are starting new products or what products you're panning. Let me know in the comments. I always love to chat with you guys. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video.